wouldn't we be if we couldn't say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me? What would we be if we didn't know that for us any man be in Christ? He is a new creature. Listen to me. Listen to me. We congratulate Paul for that. But we can't thank Paul without thanking Steve. Amen. Stephen went through and died right. He took it right when they were throwing at it. Sanamando bakati. Hurababa. You know there's something about God. Even when you're suffering, he'll shine the spotlight on you. You know why you're going through? Folks still watching you. You don't seem like a good dying private. But God said, no, no, no. Stephen, be careful how you do. Because I got a man out there who's going to be watching how you take it. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to be listening to see if you go to cussing. He's going to be listening to see if you ball up your fist. Wait a minute. He's going to be listening to see if you say it was all a lie. Jesus is not real. He's still in the tomb. He's not the son of God. He's going to be listening to hear you say those things. And so, Stephen, I'm standing to let you know I'm with you, son. I'm not going to take you out. I'm going to let you go through. But on the other side, I'm standing here waiting on you. You're going to be all right. But I want you to make sure that regardless of what you go through, you keep a sweet spirit. I'm watching you, boy. You're going to be all right, son. Stephen, it's almost over. Stephen, it's almost over. Stephen, hold on. Just a little while over. It's almost over. Yeah. You read the scripture in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 1. It said, Wherefore, sin, we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Who are the witnesses that are waiting in heaven, looking at us? The Bible tells us Enoch is there. Tells us Abel is there. Said Noah is there. Abraham and Sarah are there. Yeah, Jacob is there. Isaac is there. Many great men and women of God are the witnesses when we go through. But I'm so glad that they're not the ones I got my eyes on. I'm glad to know that Abraham is proud of my faith. I'm glad to know that Noah is proud that we're going to build a church like he built an ark. I'm glad that Jacob is proud that we wrestle with God like he wrestled. But they're not the ones I got my eyes on. Oh, there's another one who's standing. There's another the one who's standing at the right hand of the Father, looking unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, I see Jesus, I see Jesus, yes! I heard the songwriter say, I got a mother over there. Where Jesus is. That's all right. That's all right. I got a father. That's good. That's good. Amen. But I'm not looking at those folks. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Mama's in heaven. She can't do me a bit of good. I'm looking at the fellow who thought he's in heaven. He can reach, reach, reach. Come up top. He can reach. Oh, God. He can reach. You ain't saying nothing. Somebody said, how far is heaven away from earth? I don't know. But if need be, he can reach into the Andromeda. Milky Way. Galaxy. He can reach past the sun. He can reach past Pluto. Yeah. He can reach past all the planets. Right down here. Right down here. Where I am. Yeah. I don't have that. That's the one I'm reaching for. The one who can reach me. That's why I don't have a fit on Mother's Day. John didn't say I was having a fit on Mother's Day. He said I was in the spirit on the Lord's Day. <laughs> he said, I found me somebody that can help me. He said, instead of crying on Mama's Day, I was shouting on the Lord's Day. If I could hear my mother pray again, that's good. 
But I got news for you. There is one that's praying. The Bible says he lives. He ever liveth to make intercession. Hallelujah. Come in, Maurice. That's why I know that if don't nobody else pray for me, amen, I can make it because I got one that's right on the right hand that's constantly praying for me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And so, Brother Tommy, if you forget to pray for me one morning, don't let the devil condemn you. Just get up the next morning. Amen. But I got somebody who never sleeps and never slumbers. He never forgets to call my name. Yes. He never forgets to call my name. He never forgets to say, Father, Maurice needs a touch. Maurice needs encouragement. Maurice needs a move of God. Yes. Yes, Lord.
praise and worship God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It, 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 it's just like under the old covenant when they would take those lambs and sheep and whatever and burn them and the smell would come up. Hallelujah. And just soothe God's spirit and, you know, please God that they're, they're being faithful in that. The Bible says, listen, you don't have to go get a lamb. You don't have to kill a bullock. Praise God. You don't have to go buy any incense. You don't have to spend big money on those kinds of things. He said, but when you begin to pray. He said, that means as much to me as those fellows and more to me when they were killing up thousands of dollars worth of lambs and incense. He said, just worship me. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, I love you. You don't hear what I'm saying. Higher, higher, higher. Be set forth before thee as incense. And look at this. Read. I believe you can, as you lift up your hands before God, hallelujah. When you read about uh, uh, Sister Sandra and, and uh, I think Sister Beta, somebody to study Leviticus, hallelujah, you read about all those different sacrifices that they offered to God, but God said, listen, all that's wonderful, but if you just lift your hands. So you may not even know how to read Leviticus. Don't worry about that. You just lift your hands. I can tell you as a father, a relatively new father, that it means something to me. When I open the door, hallelujah, going in the house, hallelujah, I'm the lender, and my kids them already there. Now, she doesn't know who's coming in, but something about it, hallelujah, I hear a voice crying out, Taddy! You ain't saying, and when I see her come in, hallelujah, and say, Daddy, pick you up, it blesses me. It, but you, yes, it does. It blesses me. It blesses me. It blesses me. It blesses me. Hallelujah. And I want you to know if I being evil, the Bible says, hallelujah, know how to respond to the love of a child, how much more shall your heavenly father? Come on, get your hands up. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Somebody say, well, no, 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 don't close your Bible. I say, get your hand up. Hallelujah. Get, get, get them up the best you can. But say, God, you are welcome. The Holy Spirit, I welcome you. In this place and in my life, I present my body a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Go ahead. It's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of Lamentations. In the book of Lamentations. Hallelujah. 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 The preacher said, and it's true, you remember, hallelujah, when when in the uh, book of Exodus chapter 17, where the Bible says that uh, Amalek came out to fight against the children of Israel in the valley of Rephidim, the Bible says, hallelujah, that Joshua and the children of Israel went down in the valley to fight. But the Bible says somehow God gave Moses instruction. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And told Moses that if you really want the victory, amen, hallelujah, he said, don't, don't worry about you going and getting you a spear, Moses. Hallelujah. Take that, take that, take that, take that mic out of that stand. Hallelujah. Say, you don't have to worry. Get, get the stand ready. Come on, somebody, please, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get that, get it ready for him. Hallelujah. And so, uh, listen, uh, uh, yeah, that's what you... Y'all know the story. I know y'all know the story. Y'all didn't heard Exodus chapter 17. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, glory to God, that God told Moses, you don't need a spear, Moses. Now, see, I want you to know Moses was not scared. Don't y'all think Moses was scared? The Bible said when Moses died at 120, the Bible said his eye was not dim. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. And the Bible said his natural force was not abated. No, but he could slap you down at 120 just like he could at 40. You ain't saying nothing. Listen, listen, listen. How many of y'all ever heard of a 120-year-old man climbing the mountain to go die? Oh, climbing a mountain to go die. Oh, we're laying up in the hospital. You ain't saying nothing. This fella go climb the mountain to go die. Walk to his own funeral. You ain't saying nothing. He's a tough old man, but God said, Moses, you don't need a spear. He said, you see that thing you've been carrying around in your hand? He said, get up over that mountain, get up over that valley, on the mountain, hallelujah, get up over the valley, where, where, where the valley's going on, and hold up that same rod. 
You ain't saying that. Hold up your hand with the rod of God in it. You ain't saying that. See, 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 see. It look foolish. You know it look foolish. You know it look foolish. Somebody say, I'm going to beat you. Somebody say, call, call you. I'm coming. I'm coming with a gun in my hand. And you get out on the porch. You know people call that foolish. But the Bible said we read it Sunday. Or we quoted it Sunday. He takes the foolish things of this world. To do what? To confound, to confuse the wise. That's why you come out of here and bring, amen, you, uh, you got people that'll come out here, go to God to the services, and bring cooking oil. Y'all ain't saying nothing. People come out in this church uh, and bring cooking oil, amen, to the preacher. Why in the world are you bringing cooking oil to the preacher? Most times the preacher wants chicken cooked in the oil, not the oil. What? That's what they say about us. We love chicken. That's what they say about us. How come y'all ain't saying nothing? But instead of that, you bring the oil. You ain't saying nothing. And then I'm crazy enough, I unstop it and, 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 and talk in it and stop it back up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. So I said, you know, that's crazy. Yeah, but I guarantee you there's a devil in your house. You ain't saying, I guarantee you if the enemy is trying to bind you up, you take some of that same cooking oil. And not in the name of blue, not in the name of the God of hope, but in the name of Jesus. He got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go. Don't ask me why God did it. He probably did it so nobody could take the glory for it. Because nobody would have thought of cooking oil. Amen. Come on, read. And do what? Turn again. 
Yes, yes, yes. Come on, read on. We've got to hurry. Come on. Ah. Oh. So there's something spiritual. You know, hard if I talk about this blood pump here. But the spirit of man, there's something, there's a spiritual connection, there's a spiritual release that takes place when we lift up our hands. Lift up our hearts, talking about your spirit, man, with our hands unto the Lord. Isn't that something? First of all, two, two things. Don't just, don't just lift up your hands and lift your heart, too. But I also believe that it means that there's a spiritual connection when you lift your hands unto the Lord, that your spirit comes into another measure of connection. And, and, you, and, 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 and I have to believe that, even from my own experience, because there's something about it. When you really begin to lose sight on who's around and what's around you, and begin to just lift your hands and talk to God. Anybody that witnesses that? Yeah, it, it works. As a matter of fact, I can tell you this, I can tell you this, I can tell you this, I can tell you this in my own experience. When I received the Holy Ghost, to know I had it. Now, I, I think I, you know, in retrospect, I think I received the Holy Ghost in May of that same year, but I didn't receive it until I claimed it and didn't take it back until September of that year. And in September of that year, I went to the service, and I tarried through the entire service. When they had prayer, I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They, they were loud. I was loud with them. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When they got quiet, I sat there on my feet with my hands propped like this so nobody would really notice what's going on. When they start shouting, I stand up and say, Jesus, Jesus. When they read the announcement, I kept my hands propped up on the chair. Jesus, Jesus, I came out of that service with the Holy Ghost. I don't have a long time to tell the whole story. I'd love to tell it, but I don't have time. But I kept my hands up. My heart was up, but my hands were up, too. You ain't saying nothing. I, I, there, there was nothing for me to be idle with. There was nothing for me to play with. I, I, you ain't saying I, I couldn't pick my nose. I couldn't dig in my head. I had my hands up. Come on, I've done away with, with a source of distraction, potentially. I'm teaching tonight. I mean, I know we've been chopping a little bit, but I'm teaching too. Amen. So it says, lift up our hands, uh, 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 parts of our hands to the Lord. One more, and that's the book of 1 Timothy. Hallelujah. Oh, God, no, I, I, I see another one. That's all right. I won't read that one. I'll just tell you what it says. 1 Timothy. Uh, chapter 3, I believe it is. No, it's not chapter 3. It's chapter 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, everybody. Pray for Second chapter in the first verse says, I thought therefore that first of all, are you with me? Supplication, prayers, intercession, giving of thanks, be made for all men. Are you reading with me? For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge. Now all of that, all of that is the will of God. Now the eighth verse says I will, are you with me? I will, therefore, that men pray every. Wait, 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 wait. Praying for who? For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet, peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this good except for the sight of God, I say, who have all men to be saved. So when you're praying for those in leadership, when you're praying for those who need to be saved, when you're praying for your unsaved loved ones, he said, I will, therefore, that men pray everywhere, not just at church, but everywhere, lifting up. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that powerful? Praise the Lord. Get your hands. So I said, what's going to happen? He's going to touch it. Hallelujah. What's going to happen? He's going to reach down and touch you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I told you, you keep your hands up because I guarantee you, hallelujah, when old Stephen saw him, hallelujah, if he had his hands in any kind of posture besides in his roll pocket or somewhere like that, I guarantee you, that's my boy. I got you, boy. I got you covered. I know. Don't you remember, don't you remember, don't you remember the Apostle Peter? When the Bible says that Peter was walking on the water and doing all right, and then he looked and saw the wind boisterous. Hallelujah. That, that's a message in itself. He saw the wind. But the Bible says that he saw the wind boisterous. Amen. And, and the Bible says he became afraid and began to sing. But while he was beginning to sing, he cried, Lord, save me. And the Bible says Jesus reached. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes you feel like you're in a sinking situation. And I want you to know you need to keep your hands up. Come on, Peter. You're going down with your hands up, and he's reaching down with his head. Oh, You're going to make contact. Y'all hear me? And here's the final one. The Bible says, I'm going to read it. Hallelujah. Luke, the Bible says, he led them out as far as the Bethany. 
listen, in the 24th chapter, it said he laid his hands out as far and left them out as far as the Bethany and lifted up his hands and blessed them. Y'all ain't seen. Hallelujah. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. He didn't have to lift up his hands. He could have just spoken, I imagine, if that's the way he wanted it done. But somehow Jesus uh, uh, attached blessing with raising hands. Speaking the word of faith, raising hands. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Hallelujah. Some of y'all need to go somewhere and lift your hand and speak a blessing. You. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, I, I, I tell you right now, some of y'all, when, when uh, the blessing is spoken over you at the end of service, some of y'all don't know what's going on. I've seen people. You know, why, why, why are you raising your hand? Are you raising your hand to receive it or are you just going through the motion? Because now if you're receiving it, I guess that's all right. But really and truly, amen, if you don't raise yours, it's all right at that point. You raise yours, I guess, saying, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I praise. That's what you ought to be doing. But if you just, you keep that down because the fellow that's doing the blessing got his hands up. I'm not kicking you. I'm not kidding. I'm not saying you can't do it. But the most important one to have hands up at that point is the fellow doing the blessing. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, don't, don't, don't go to hell over who raised hands when you dismiss. I don't mean that. All right, listen to what I'm saying. But you need to know what's going on. The reason why the preacher raised his hand is not, you know, salute or something like that. He raised his hand because he's blessing you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's not a benediction. Benny's good. Dick me speak. He's speaking that which is good over you. Amen. So I, you know, preacher, get his hand up. No, no, don't, don't, don't just do that. Just don't. You got to know what's going on. If you live in your hands, say, Lord, I receive it. Speak it. Speak it real. Speak it real. Speak it real. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. I've been blessed all through the service. Give me one to go home on. On top of my other ones. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. But don't. You're missing the point. That's a blessing as you lift your hand. Are you listening to it? Hallelujah. You need to get on your child sometime. Lay your hands on it. Speak over it. I decree. You ain't saying Hallelujah. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now I want to know, did that blessing work? Y'all are kind of flowing here tonight. I want to know when Jesus blessed those 11 boys, did it work? Oh, it worked right now in 1997. It's still working. Raising, lifting up his hands. Hallelujah. So when you bless the Lord, lift them. When you bless uh, the Lord and when you're praying for your son or your daughter, God bless that boy. God, wherever he is right now. You ain't saying nothing. Let the power of God go out where he is. Touch him in the name of Jesus. Don't let the assassin bullet get it. Don't let the gangster bullet get it. In the name of Jesus. You know the Red Sea opened up. You know the Red Sea opened up. When somebody got his hands up. I wonder what you're trying to go through that you could go through if you'd lift up your hand. Hallelujah. He lifted up the rod and his hand, the word and his willingness and his obedience and his submission. Amen. I want you to know God opened the red sea. The Bible said the wind blew, didn't it? And each wind blew all night long. Church, I want you to keep your hands up because there's a wind blowing. Hey, I know you're in a night season, but there's a wind blowing. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. Ha, ha, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to take it back to Egypt, but I'm just using that parable. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. There's a wind blow. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That when Moses lifted up his hand, I know you watched the movie, and in about two and a half seconds, whoop, everything opened. That ain't the way the Bible says. The Bible says God calls it each wind to blow all night long. Tell somebody beside you a wind you can't see. Tell them that when you keep your hands up, say the effect of it you might not be able to see. Tell them, amen, but keep your hands up because the wind is blowing. Hallelujah. And it's driving back that to send your way. It's opening up. It's opening up. It's opening up. It's opening up. Keep your hands up, baby. It's opening up. It's opening. It's opening. Listen, all night long, all night long, all night. Wind blowing at night. I can't see nothing. I don't know what's happening, but I do know I got my hands. Yeah. 